What's up, guys? Spotabot here for Clash of Clans. We're in Crystal. We're in the Crystal League. Yes, we are. Check it out. Crystal League. Wow. The, the bonus. 34,000 gold, 34,000 elixir, and 100 dark elixir. We made it, and we made it with ease. I will tell you, it was pretty easy, obviously, here at level our Town Hall Level 8. We have all our defenses upgraded and a lot of our walls. I mean, we're progressing here. It's It takes a long time. Half a million gold to upgrade every single wall is going to take quite some time here on Town Hall Level 8. But slowly but surely, we are making it. And uh, our new defensive base design, we're going to talk about that a little bit. But getting to Crystal and... I've been at Crystal before. I can't remember exactly what Town Hall it was, whether it was Town Hall 6 or Town Hall 7, but uh, I sniped, I Town Hall sniped my way to Crystal. It's not difficult to get there. You can have the, the, the crappiest defense possible, and it's just a matter of how much time you put into and how much gold you have, basically, to find those bases that you're able to attack at those lower town, when you're at those lower Town Hall levels, um, and you're versing guys that are in crystal league or you know in the 1800s or 1900s uh trophy range and gold gold one where you know you got to find the ones that you can either 50 percent which is going to be difficult to do when you're at town hall six um and even maybe town hall seven you might have a more difficult time getting the 50 percent there are bases to be had obviously to do that but uh, the Town Hall sniping is significantly easier um, in order to push those trophies. And it's just going to take you time because you're only going to get the one stars, right? So one star attacks, if I look at my attack log, I mean, you're going to get six, ten, four. I mean, that's what I've been doing to a degree. I mean, I had a couple of Town Hall snipes just because I was looking for those resource bases. It's like, oh, hey, look at that. The guy's got his Town Hall out in the corner of his of his base outside his walls, not anywhere near any defenses. So let's... You know, let's take out that town hall. It's an easy victory, an easy one star. Only use a few troops, and uh, and we get some trophies, right? So I did push over into Crystal doing that last night, or actually, uh, yeah, this morning, because I was in Crystal, and then I I lost a defense, and then I pushed back again just to get me over. I was at 1999. I want. I was still in Crystal League, but I wanted to show you guys. Hey, it was actually over 2,000 trophies, right? But uh, the defenses has, have held up well. Again, starting back at uh, just over 1,500 and really looking at beefing up the defenses and letting a bunch of attacks um, run on my defenses. And we fared fairly well. I mean, if we look at just the, the history here, we've had a lot of wins, uh, a few defeats. I mean, there, there are some 50% defeats, a, a couple of two-star defeats there was this one uh three star where he three starred me way back when that was about four days ago over four days ago another one that was over five days ago where i got three stars so it's going to happen again as you move up into the to the uh higher leagues yes you're going to be facing tougher opponents i mean let's look at at this guy right he's got 20 level five hog riders uh 88 level six archers right so you know Actually, his, uh, yeah, he's only level four Barbarian Queen, level seven uh, Barbarian King. So let's just take a look at his, at his base real quick here. And uh, yes, obviously, he's at uh, Town Hall level nine. He's got uh, a lot of his uh, his defenses getting upgraded. But again, the, the high level troops, right? He's at the, those high level of troops. He's at uh crystal three as well similar to me he had 20 2043 trophies so all right so let's take a look at uh, the replay again he got us for 89 percent. so let's see what happens and um you know it doesn't matter what you do here or what i do here it doesn't matter my base layout whatever there i'm gonna get taken out i'm going to get taken out and the the best i can hope for is that uh, i don't get taken out completely Right, I don't, uh, I don't get three starred. Um, I only get one starred. I only get two starred because I'm going up against these guys that are at Town Hall Nine, Town Hall Ten, and this guy did a good job. I mean, not, not to, to say, well, he only won because he spammed Hog Riders. I mean, that's part of it, but he also did a good job of getting my Barbarian King out of the base 
uh, as well as my clan castle troops. I mean, he destroyed them, basically. Uh, now, all not all my clan castle troops came out at the same time, unfortunately, but um, he did get the majority of them. But I really think, I mean, this hog riders, yeah, they're jumping back and forth. Um, I really think this base design is really is what saved me from that three star. Would I have been able to successfully defend from a three star on one of my other base configurations? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. But I think uh, we did a fairly decent job here. And uh, despite the spam of those hog riders, I mean, level five hog riders. And he didn't want 100% me. Uh, he's going to take out my town hall here with his uh, archer queen, but you know, other than that, I think I think we're good. I think that's the probably the best that we could hope for out of a town hall eight defense defending against level five, you know, level five hog rider spam basically, right? And and somebody also also somebody that sort of knows what they're doing. Now, you know, I, I shouldn't call it spam. He only used twenty. I mean, he could have used a lot more than that, but. Still, I still think we did fairly well, and he used uh, four of those uh, the healing spells, right? Were those healing spells? I think they're healing spells. Let's uh, take a look at uh, our training here. Um, I think they were. There we go. Yeah, healing spells. Okay, so whatever level healing spells he had there. Let's take a look. Yeah, they're level whoa, level six healing spells. And he used four of them. So he used quite a bit. I mean, yes, he got 19 trophies, but he used quite a bit of uh, resources in order to get not... You know, I, I don't think it was that great of a return on the resources for what he used. Um, and the time consideration for training everything. I mean, it's, what, two hours just to uh, to get those four those four spells, right? But uh, I lost 19 trophies on that attack. But if we look, right, I mean, that defense has held up fairly well. Like I said, I set up the defense yesterday. We've had uh, three other attacks, and we've won every single one of them. This guy, I mean, the 41%, 4%, well, okay, yeah. The B money guy, obviously he was trying to drop, uh, looked like he was trying to drop trophies, so just sending in a few archers, or maybe he miss, uh, miss hit the screen and accidentally sent in a few but um okay we'll give him that one but the other two not bad 41 percent and let's take a look at the 49 percent and just see okay what what saved us here what saved us on this defense and this defense is looking you know the setup i wasn't sure about it right when we first set it up the other day i wasn't entirely sure about it but uh it, it, it seemed to do it seemed to do be doing fairly well and uh, this guy, obviously, he's not drawing out. He's not drawing out our barbarian king. He didn't draw out our uh, clan castle troops. So that was probably a mistake on on his part. And uh, he probably could have done much better had he done that, and at least gotten gotten the 50%, the one star. But he didn't. Um, so I think we're going to just crush him here. And uh, I think he ends up running out of time. Did he? I don't know if he ran out of time or he canceled it. But um, had he had more time, his Archer Queen was still going. Perhaps he could have uh, destroyed one more building in order to get that 50%. But that's, uh, that's you know, uh, some of the, the, the base defenses that we've had uh, over the last 16 hours or so. I'm still trying to run more, and I haven't moved anything. I know there are things that I could do. I mean, one of the suggestions was to move my Dark Elixir storage, which I can probably do now, to be quite honest. Um, what I did... I, I, I had, um, what, I think 20,000 Dark Elixir. And if you look at the achievements, okay, one of the achievements that I did achieve just by getting to Crystal League. Yes, I have been here before, but these achievements didn't exist. Like these, I think the uh, the League All-Star achievement wasn't around when I originally got to Crystal League. So when I got to Crystal League this time around, what was it, 250? Did I get 250 trophies? Or, 200, sorry, 250 gems for getting to Crystal. And you can see that the second star here for League All-Star is to reach the Masters League, and you'll get 1,000 gems. So what I ended up doing, because I had uh, a bunch of um, units that I can train for Dark Elixir, and I only had 20,000 Elixir, I ended up using the gems that I gained from the achievement in order to provide me with the additional Dark Elixir I needed to get my hog riders training to level three okay so it's gonna be 10 days that's crazy 10 days and i think i can also get them to level four and that takes 12 days 
So I did use some gems from the uh, the achievement. That's why I'm down to 12 gems now uh, in order to uh, upgrade that Dark Elixir troop. So now that my storage, you know, my storage is so low, I can probably take my Barbarian King and move him to the interior of the base. All right. So I, I think you want you want to have your clan castle and your barbarian king and your your uh, archer queen. Wow, he actually woke up so, to move around, dude. You're fine. Wake up. You were just up a second ago, because I moved your little sleeping area. It doesn't look very comfortable. Um. So we'll see. Maybe that uh, maybe that'll help with the defense. Uh, I think it will. But once I get more Dark Elixir, I'm going to want to move that back because I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose Dark Elixir. I'm okay at losing, you know, whatever, 50% of 10. Take my five Dark Elixir. I don't care. That's fine. But um, that's it. So we're in Crystal, baby. Let's see how high we can go. I mean, I'm going to let the defenses run and see how we fare against other players that are in Crystal 3. Um, and as well, I'm going to continue... You know, attacking bases for resources and those 50% one stars where possible. And if we do see some town hall sniping opportunities available, then we'll take them. No sense turning them down, right? All right, guys. We'll be back with more next day. Spider out.